welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will teach you all the basic commands of linux that we will be using in our downstream analysis so here is our ubuntu terminal which we have just installed in our windows so how you can open this so let me show you you can simply go to uh, this terminal and after you will go to this terminal so you can simply click on this so it will take you to this terminal so the first command which we will read is actually the pwd so pwd stand for print working directory and it is used to know where we actually are so uh, we will just simply press enter and you see even we have entered the pwd but it has not shown anything because we have just placed a hash sign so if we will place hash sign before anything so it, this terminal will not take it as a code but only will take it as a as a text form so let's now write only pwd and uh, you see after i enter so it is now showing that you are in home folder i because in linux the folder is called directories so you see here we are in home and asif so let me show you how you can access this folder in windows uh, so let me uh, go to my folder and show you how you can access to this folder which we have actually created so you can simply write this and write wsl i mean backslash wsl and dollar sign so we you can simply press enter so you see here in the networks it has created the ubuntu and as you can see in the terminal we we are actually in the home so let me show you where we are actually in the home so you see here here we have home and in the home we have actually one folder that is called asif okay so uh good to go now i can maybe open side by side both so that you can see both of them simultaneously okay and here we are in the home so if we can see what is if we want to see what is inside this folder so we will use this command which is actually uh, let me listing the directories i mean what is included in this so you see we will enter and it will not do anything because we just placed a hash before so i will simply write ls and you see because we are in this ls folder so you see when i entered so it has shown three things rnsic rnsic sra video so we can see here after we will enter you see rnsic and we have sra and we have videos but here you see actually yeah here is one file uh, which we have just also created so let me delete this from here and uh, let me update this again so let me do ls again so we can simply press uh, ls if it it is not visible so let me increase its size by using control plus so now let me do ls again so here you see now we we don't have like rnsic two times so you see here we are here okay so far uh, we learned how we can use pwd wherever we are we can simply use pwd to see where we actually are and if we want to see the see the contents of folder which is called directory in linux case so let me now uh, use another one that is called cd so cd is actually used to change the directory i mean change the folder and uh, let's now uh, change the direct because previously we were in the home and asif so next now let's change it to the rna sick yeah we should write yeah you see here uh, when i will write r so i will simply press the tab so it will automatically find that what is starting from the r so you see here now we will simply press enter so you see here there is no error tree so we can do pwd i mean we want to print the working directory you see here 
so we are in Asif and we want to change directory yeah it has not I mean made it effective because we just placed uh, this uh, hash sign so we can if we want to use our previous code so what we will do we will use simply uh, the keyboard up arrow so you see here when I press for one time it has just shown PWD when I will enter it again so it will go to this uh, this code again so let me uh, delete this uh, you see here now I have just changed the directory to RNSIC and now let me press enter so you see here now it has changed the directory and now let's again pwd i mean we want to know where we are so actually you see we are in the rnsic folder so we can go to this rnsic folder so here are many files so let's see what is actually ls and as we know ls is is used for listing i mean what is included in that directory so you see here here we have one text this file and this file and everything okay so if we want to go back to previous directory let's suppose if we want to go to this folder again so we will use change directory okay we have changed directory and we want to change directory to the previous one we will just place only one uh, only one minus sign so you see we are back to the uh, assay folder okay so now let's change the directory again to this SRA folder so you see here now we are if we can do LS so we are here and we can see what is included in oh there is nothing in SR so let me and do ls you see in in the ls after ls there is nothing in the sr so we can move change directory and if we will just enter one minus sign it will take one step back but if we will only write cd it will just directly take us to the home directory and you see here we will write pwd and we are again to the home directory okay so the next thing which we will do is uh, if we list the directories of asif so you see here it is now just showing these files i mean uh, video sra and but you see this data is actually not showing why is this because these files are actually hidden so if you want to see the hidden file as well you can write ls minus ls minus a so you see here are all the files which we are we have just placed here so you see here uh, actually there is a lot of text so if you want to clear this text so you can simply write clear and that's okay okay so uh, we will move ahead so far we have learned pwd and uh, pwd we know that it is for to, uh, to print working directory then we have change directory option and then we have listing option now we will use copy option okay so CP stand for copy so uh, let's copy one file from one folder to another folder so you see here we are in the asset folder and we want to copy uh, let's maybe change directory to rnsic first yeah we will just simply r write r and press tab so it will automatically complete the name so if we will see within this this rnsic folder so here are the different files so if we want to move this file let's suppose to and we want to copy this file so we want to copy this file which file you see here it is actually starting with two dot so I will just write two and press tab so it will automatically uh, complete its name and uh, we want to copy this file with another name that is 3txt so you see here once we will finish this so and we can see if the you see here this actually is 3 here is not updated so but our file is actually 
copied here so maybe we can do and write this rnsa again so you see here actually uh, we have so we can also uh, use uh, different directories to copy and paste but among them these uh, these commands like pwd cd ls and copy we will be often using in our downstream analysis hopefully this command will be enough uh, and if we need anything else so i will tell you meanwhile in the downstream analysis